بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Today I want to talk about how to manage your child or diabetic child when they get sick how to manage diabetic child how to manage diabetic child when they get as we know diabetic children uh, they get sick once in a while just like other kids and the effect of illness can increase or decrease the blood glucose the effect of this illness it can increase the blood glucose and also it can decrease the blood glucose and usually usually when the child is sick uh, the body will be in stress during sick days the body will be in stress and and this stress usually it can make high blood glucose when the child is sick he will have stress and this stress usually it can lead to high blood glucose okay and uh, if the child have nausea or have vomiting or he cannot eat properly he can have also low blood glucose and if child have vomiting or nausea or he's not eating at the same time he can have low glucose okay so what we need to do during this illness for this child the it is very important the so the solution for this for the management in these cases first we have to check blood glucose frequently blood glucose check like two hourly you have to check blood glucose two hourly and if your child is checking his blood glucose by himself you have to help him in this issue second very important do not do not omit insulin you will think that your child is not eating so you will stop insulin no if you stop insulin your child can have more difficult and more, more serious problem so don't omit insulin give the long acting insulin give the long acting acting insulin long acting as we said the solution first we'll check the blood glucose two hourly number two do not omit insulin dose give the long acting insulin like if you are giving him uh, uh, lantus or tricebo or any other long acting insulin you will give the long acting insulin and according to blood glucose level you have to give him his short acting insulin level you will give the short acting like uh, short acting like novorabid or abedra or others uh, you will give him the short acting insulin the short acting or the rapid acting insulin according to glucose level according to glucose level okay as we said first we check the blood glucose two hourly do not omit insulin give the long acting insulin and the short acting insulin according to glucose level if the child is eating you will give him according to his eating and if the child is not eating you'll give him the correction dose as uh, the doctor your doctor told you okay the same thing you need to do it you have to encourage encourage your child to take 
fluid encourage the child to take fluid frequently and food encourage the child to take fluid and food frequently if it is possible okay the fourth important you have to have like ketone strips to check his blood ketone or urine ketone check blood ketone blood ketone or urine ketone check blood ketone or urine ketone you have to check blood ketone or urine ketone if the blood ketone above if above 1.5 you need to go go to emergency room go to emergency room or emergency department okay or go to the hospital generally okay the fifth steps that you need to do it you have to watch for any uh, uh, dangerous signal uh, or dangerous signs of diabetic keto acidosis watch for signs of diabetic keto acidosis this diabetic keto acidosis it is a serious condition it is something serious may need BICU admission and it, it need urgent management and attention the signs for this DKA you will find your child drowsy or confused there is altered in the mental stasis of the child he can have frequent vomiting vomiting abdominal pain can have abdominal pain and sometimes also he will have rapid breathing rapid abnormal breathing rapid and abnormal breathing this means you need to go directly to emergency room you need to go immediately to the emergency room room emergency room or go to the hospital if you have the blood glucose continue to rise and you give like blood glucose continuously going up and you give already two extra doses two extra correction you should have two hours in between two hours in between and it's still blood glucose not coming down glucose not coming down not coming down not coming down so you have to go also to emergency room okay you have to go to emergency room if you have your if you have the child blood glucose low if the blood glucose is low if the blood glucose of the child is low and we said uh, low for the diabetic means it is below 80 you can give him juice and you try you give juice you give uh, food and you are trying but you cannot keep it above difficult to keep difficult to keep above this level you have to go also difficult to keep in this level you have to go to emergency room difficult to keep above 80 although you are giving everything so you have to go to emergency room 
¿Qué? Whenever, um, whenever you, your child feeling uh, sick, you have to call your doctor or your diabetic educator early. Call your doctor early. Doctor early if you have any concern, doctor or diabetic educator or diabetic educator early. Call your doctor or diabetic educator early uh, so he can guide you in the management. Uh, we have to try to stay healthy. How we can stay healthy? At least we can give uh, the child the immunization needed. So try to stay safe and healthy. Try to stay healthy. Immunization on time. You have to give the child immunization on time. Second, give the flu vaccine. Flu vaccine, especially during winter time, it's very needed. Take care about personal hygiene. Care about personal Hygiene. Try not to eat from outside a lot. Try to eat healthy food. Try to keep your blood glucose level or the child blood glucose level in the target range. Keep it in the target range to reduce risk of illness or infection. I hope this is uh, beneficial for uh, everyone and thank you and be safe all the time.